Oh, oh. oh man, yeah, I really don't want to be breathing that stuff in again. So I think to uh, get around this, I'm going to make a solder extractor fan, which can sit on my desk whilst I'm soldering. This should make sure that any fumes emitted are nice and far away from my face, and I guess I can also pipe them through a filter as well to uh, scrub it out the air in the room. So then I guess I'm... Got some making to do! For this project, only two components are needed. An Arduino, as well as a CPU fan. Or any PC fan will do. I'm also going to be using a potentiometer to control the speed of the fan. However, this is an optional extra. The connection available on PC fans comes in two forms. There's a 3-pin connection, as well as a 4-pin connection. Both have a ground, as well as a 12 volt input, and also have a tachyometer signal, which allows connected devices to figure out the speed at which the fan is spinning. The important difference with the 4-pin connection is that it exposes an additional PWM signal input. This allows a connected device to digitally control the speed of the fan, rather than varying the input voltage to it. Now this is going to be useful for this project. However, if you don't have a 4-pin fan available, that's fine. You'll just find that your fan will always spin at maximum speed. To get started, I've hooked up the fan's connector with some jumper wires. So I'm going to be a bit cheeky here, and I'm actually going to take advantage of how there's power coming into the DC jack of the Arduino. It seems to be shared with the V-in port also. So I'm going to wire up my red 12 volt wire into the V-in port, black into a ground, and my yellow, which represents PWM, I'm actually going to put this into the port number 9, which is actually going to then be addressable in software later on. One thing to note is that these fans can technically run from probably around 5 volts to the nominal 12 volts that they expect. Just with a lower voltage, well, <laughs> that just means you're going to see a slower sp fan speed. I flashed a very small program onto the Arduino, which every second tweaks the speed of the fan. And as you can see, it's responding. And a good sign is at the higher speeds, you can actually see the leaves behind moving in the wind. So it's clearly working, which gives me a lot of hope that this is going to be quite successful. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I can connect the potentiometer up to the Arduino. And to do that, I need to solder on three wires, one for power, one for ground, and finally a signal wire, which will allow me then to read the current value of resistance the potentiometer has been set to. This is an analog signal, which I'm then going to be using to drive the PWM value I'm going to send to the fan, which in turn means moving this around changes the speed of the fan. Since my soldering on that was, well, pretty bad, I've decided to hide the evidence by putting shrink tubing over the solder joints on the potentiometer. So uh, nobody ever has to see them ever again. So the only thing remaining now is software, which in this case, I've really just kind of hacked it together, but the idea behind it is pretty sound. Every 20 milliseconds, the code on the Arduino loops around. It grabs the current value of the potentiometer, converts it into something that can be set as the current PWM value that the fan can then read, and then just keeps continuing round and round. What this means though, is that when you turn the potentiometer, the fan speed reacts accordingly, which is exactly what I want. If you want to see how this works, I've included the source code in the GitHub repository I've linked in the description below. Okay, so that's now all the software written, which means the only thing left to do now is to package everything up in a nice neat way. And to do that, well, surprise, surprise, I'm going to turn to 3D printing. I'm going to create a small box for the Arduino and potentiometer to sit within. And I'm also going to create a mounting adapter for this fan, because it's a lot smaller than your usual 120 meter PC fan. 
All the components I'm going to create are going to be linked in the description below. So make sure to check those out if you want to create it as well. Q printing montage. I've got a load of these adapters hanging around from when I built my PC. So I'm going to solder up the jumper wires to it so that I can easily plug in any other fan if I want to change it up in the future. I'm going to glue this adapter into place, though if you don't want to create that, that's fine. Just pass through the cables for the fan that should go into the Arduino through this hole. I love how neat and tidy this is, like everything just fits inside real nice. Oh, shiny shiny. So I was going to do this properly and use these 4mm screws to hold the legs in place, but it turns out I don't have any corresponding nuts for them, so um... I'm just gonna super glue it and like hope for the best. Well, that seems to have worked. But I guess it's time to do a uh, actual test. So let's just wire everything up. Why is that cable over there? Oh my god. Right. Oh yeah. Well, the only thing left now to do is to give it a proper test. Oh, that's working really well. Look at the solder fumes going away. Now, I notice it's pretty hard to see, so I've done the same again, but with some matches. So, overall, I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Also, right now in the UK, it is stupidly warm. So I figured, can this be used as a desk fan as well, if I just turn the fan the other way around? And it turns out, yeah. Yeah, it works pretty well for that too. Now, if you're trying to make this yourself at home and don't have access to a 3D printer, don't worry. You should be able to get in contact with a company in your country that allows you to send 3D print files to them and you get them back for a small price. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any ideas or things for me to make with stuff you might have laying around your house, please feel free to drop a comment on this video. And with that, see you in the next one.